It's been a minute since I made Poppy Playtime content, but with the release of Chapter 3 just around the corner, I figured I would make a part 2 of how to make a grab pack in Unity 3D. Today's tutorial will build off the original and add the functionality to open doors with a hand scanner. Before you get to the video, either go back and watch the last one, or download the Unity package from the description of part 1 so you are caught up and ready to start building on it. First step is to download some assets. This is the door I'm using for the tutorial. Make sure you download the dot blend version. Import the model and textures into Unity and scale it to the proper size. Also, add box colliders to every child object except factory great frame. I also made a hand scanner out of a cube and some textures. The textures are available in the description. Make sure the progress bar is a separate object and make the hand scanner game object a parent of the door. Make a new layer called scanner. Assign the hand scanner game object to it. Now let's make three animations on the hand scanner game object. The first one called hand scan idle. In this one, we only need one set of keyframes that set position and scale of the progress bar and disable it as well. These are the transform numbers I found looked the best. Next, make an animation called hand scan. In this animation, make the progress bar become active and animate the bar going up like so. And finally, the last animation called gate open. Animate the door sliding upwards and shrinking at the same time. Now, move over to the animator tab and set it up like so. Make a bool parameter called scan and add a condition to the transition between hand scan idle and hand scan that makes sure scan is true before allowing it to move to the next animation. Finally, set the loop to false for hand scan and gate open. I've made a lot of changes to the grab pack script, so you can download the new one with the link in the description. Guys, programming this took me a very long time, so it would be very appreciated if you subscribed, since only 13% of you are. It helps out a lot. Now back to the video. Next make a new script called blue hand scanner. You can also find this code in the description. Add the script to the game object hand scanner. Also, add an is trigger box collider and a rigid body with use gravity false and all the constraints true. Set up the blue hand scanner script we just made like this. You can download the sound effect in the description. In the gate open animation, add an event on the very first frame. Select play sound as the function. Finally, add an is trigger box collider on the blue hand. If all was done correctly, you should have a working door with a hand scanner. I really hope this video was helpful. If you're having any issues, leave a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. You could also download this entire project as a Unity package linked in the description. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.